Hello there and welcome YouTubers, Twitch viewers to what I think is going to be the best game of this series and that's why I'm hyping it up as much as humanly possible. This is Angry Dutchman. He is playing as the Wehrmacht Mechanized Assault Doctrine. And this over here is Alpern. He is also playing as the Mechanized Assault Doctrine. We're going to see the battle of the 250... The 250 half tracks. It's going to be absolutely effing ridiculous, quite frankly. Panzer Grenadiers in their chariots are going to go to war. And this is not Ben Hur. This is Deathmatch. This is Company of Heroes 2 at its very worst or finest, depending on who you're going to ask. It's ridiculous. It's suicidal, maniacal, genocidal destruction. It's ridiculous. And it's um, it's going to be very entertaining indeed. MG42 sets up there. We've got MG42s coming out for Alpern as well. He's got his own assault grenadiers. He's gone for double but pioneers though, Alpern. So his 250 half track's going to have more action. Let's go on with the fog of war here. You can see the sight blockers. There you go, revealing themselves once more. Panzergrenadiers took a little bit of hurt there inside. Don't want to lower their Sturmgewehr DPS now, do they? MP40 Grenadiers are looking for an angle. And they're teaming up. It's, it's vanilla Grenadiers coming in, but we do have a bit burst of suppression there. Alpern's forced away. Mechanized Assault could mean a double Tiger mashup in the late game. This map, of course, is um, a map with very large trees blocking your vision. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, Abandoned Dacha by the GB Pirate. Lol, how Elpern says. Is Dutchman going for another one? He's going for a bloody another one. We're having double Mechanized Assault groups in this most mad of games. Mad because, of course, that's the initials of the Mechanized Assault Doctrine. He goes in. Find the rear armor with those Sturmgewehrs. And of course the frontal gunner. And here comes the second one though. You weren't expecting that. And don't forget Alpern has no Faust. So the double 250s are going to go in for 500. Sonderkraft Varsoig of action. He's trying to back away. He's going to do some combat repairs it seems. He just randomly lowered into a depression there. I don't know how that works. Trying to hold down. Oh my god, I can't believe he's done that. Oh, Pioneer's destroyed there! Eviscerated by the frontal gunner. And the fact that he's hauled down him. In defensive mode, as it's called. Oh no. And the Pioneers of Alpern are also obliterated. He's lost both Pioneers. He's having to rebuild. He stays in defensive mode. But his Panzer Grenadiers are getting eaten up. Forced away with the Panzer Grenadiers. He's trying to back up the MG42. We've had no uh, further reinforcements from Dutchman. He's just operating with the Sonder Kraft Fahrzeug 250 twin half track approach. He's found the pioneers of Dutchman capping as Alpern. And, uh, yeah, he's stabilized just about here. Well, I'm not so sure he has. He has no fuel right now. And, El and it looks to me that Dutchman's going to be going for, yes, double fuel on this very interestingly shaped map. Got double munitions and hi high fuel in the north, but they're harder to cap with a couple more territories in between. And then very easily accessible fuel in the south, but with one territory to cap it. So, uh, interesting trade-offs there. Back in base. No minesweeper upgrade quite yet. He's going to repair this the old-fashioned way. But a uh, crazy start to this game. It's only been four minutes we've already had. Uh, some ridiculous action. Findeed says he hates this map. It's like a maze. It is uh, an amazing map for certain. Uh, it is quite maze labyrinth-like. I would agree with you there. North side, we've got Sulk Grandiers pushing out, just trying to cap that northern fuel for Alpern. He's also capping in the south. Dutchman commonly does this, as Wehrmachts have noticed. He tends to retreat en masse and allow his opponent a little bit further in to things. 
must say the only thing I don't like about this map is the ambient settings are very dull. It feels very dreary. It's certainly improving as a map. I, uh, I do, do like the layout. I think it's got some potential. Do one or two more flowers, perhaps. Reverses after the Panzer Grenadiers, showing that mobility wins in warfare. Double retreat necessitated there. Cut off threatened. Oh, no, he doesn't want it anymore. He's scared of what could happen to him. Don't forget, we could have a Shrek upgrade at any point here, which would turn one of these 250s into a tank buster. I'm going to have a 500 Zweihandsfansig joining the party to accompany the Thunth. Sorry, the, the, the Zweihandsfansig Funzig and something. I can't speak German. Shut up. I'm not going to attempt it. I'm sick of attempting to speak German. It's been eight years, goddammit. I'm no further forward. Oh, here comes that techno beat of the drum of death. The 2 2 2. Nice Faust in. To have a 2 2 2, of this time Dutchman joining the party. Grens suicidally assaulting there. What are they thinking, Dutchman? Oh no! That was not a good idea from Dutchman there. However, he could make up for it. He goes around the rear side of Elpen's 222, but gets taken out by an excellent pack shot from afar. Looking at the resources of both players right now. Is Elpern teching up perhaps? No, they're both in tier two. It's been all quiet on the this time the eastern front. And uh yeah. Scout car has arrived. A new scout car arrives for Dutchman. <laughs> this pioneers seem to yield an incredible amount of authority there, but I think it's because the bunker's coming up in base, it must be. He's got to lick his wounds now as Alpern. Fifty a glow at the moment as it's returned to full health. We do now have an AT gun for Dutchman as well to join the party. It seems to me that Dutchman has more pop cap. I swear to God, he just got absolutely trounced. Doesn't make the most amount of sense. Maybe Alpern lost something and I wasn't concentrating as fully as I could. Let's just double check that on the old Staterinios. Ah, so Dutchman's got a lot more individual kills there. Can confirm, of course, he's lost that Grenadier and a Scout car. If we go... Oh, uh, that's good. Elpern's lost double Pioneers, though, don't forget. So it's Grenadier and a Scout car versus double Pioneers, but then a lot more kills... In his favour for Dutchman, like individual model kills. So it's not actually looking that bad. And that's where the control comes. That's the deceptive nature of going Heroes 2. It's not always about squad wipes. It's often about the manpower bleed. And just the ability to keep the pressure on your opponent. And, and Dutchman's not done that badly overall. It's deceptive. It really is. I think having the opportunity to Faust as well is also very helpful. 2 to 2 get some reconnaissance away. Don't forget this map has a lot of sight blockers in the center, so it's good to just have a poke in and have a feel around. That's what she said. S mines planted there. Grenadiers have got a long way home, as have the pioneers. That's a cheeky little tower mine, though. That's a Dutchman Telemine, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed, a Dutchman Telemine. It's gone very defensive all of a sudden, though, hasn't it? After that raucous early game, it's gone very defensive now. Pat fires a few pot shots against the Panzer Grenadiers. Pack 40s repositioning, trying to provoke a counter attack. There you go, the 2 2 2. Just trying to provoke them. Panzer Grenadiers aren't taking the bait, it seems. Meanwhile, in North, got an update. Graded LMG. Another 250. Marauding. 
Dutchman's looking to take this to game five at this rate. Very exciting stuff. S mines detonated. There's the pioneers who have now been fully rebuilt for Elpen. There's the <laughs> you can't repair if it's here to tell a mine though. <laughs> they just sad they shrugged their shoulders. We ain't repairing that. It's dead. Quite ascends in its veterancy journey, giving it improved mobility, and that will help out in the f execution of that squad there. Two to two, get some cheeky pot shots off. Not before the pack it can get its first shot. Hits a tree instead, causing whatever the hell that is to fly into the sky. Panzer Strex are now upgraded. Pack forty sets up. It's been spotted for by the Assault Grenadiers. Bundle nade off. Can he finish the job here? No! He dies! Great work by the Panzer Grenadiers. Pack 40 can't finish off the 250. But Alpern's vehicle losses are oh, now really beginning to climb. Pretty fair game thus far, but it must be said Dutchman's had better map control. MP40s. Can't do enough against the 250. It just reverses away and mocks them. Send rounds. Light up the Grenadiers. Meanwhile in the south. Panzer Grenadiers. Taking advantage of that combined arms passive ability. Force away the uh, Elpern squad. Welcome Ragnar Hammersbane in chat. Good capping from Alpern. He's looking to uh, solidify his control of the north. Dutchman's very consolidated in this area in particular. Bit of a traffic jam emerging, but they're all in line for the Pioneers. Very popular squad. Everyone wants uh, their attention, it seems. Another MG is in the build for Dutchman. What's Alpern thinking? He's going for Battle Phase 2. Dutchman, meanwhile... Has already gotten it. Let's check out and base. He's not gotten tier 3 quite yet. His pioneers are obviously very preoccupied. Panzerstreck Pigrens could be having a field day right now. They need to be stopped. 250's going in. That's a, he's in a bad part of town though. Gets obliterated there. Shrek finds an angle. One shot hits. Let's try and decrew the pack now. Panzergrenadiers want the gauntlet. Grenadiers line up. Do we have a bundle nade possible? Gets rid of a 250, but at what cost? Sacrifices his own. Yeah, that was a lot used to get rid of it. And here comes an LAB. Just serves as pyrotechnics. To force away the MG42. The map's playing rather well. Thus far. Another packs building for Elpern. He really feels like Dutchman may be ahead. Let's see if Dutchman's even thinking of his tier 3 yet. No, he's not. So double packs um, are simply just going to be to try and counter this dastardly 250. And the 222. There he goes. He's finding the Grenadiers. Sort of is and uh, forcing them back. That's where it is lying. Wait, it's an ambush. Oh, it's beautiful. There you go. Pax lines up a shot. Can the Panzer Grenadiers finish off? Yes, they can. Beautiful action there. At 40 minutes 25 of game four. Making a note. For my thumbnail, of course. Salt Grandy is reinforcing base. As the double packs <laughs> find uh, the for their former 250 of their side using as that was being used as green cover, allowing the Panzer Grenadiers to push up quite easily. The 
really feel like Alpern's uh, back into things now considerably, but Dutchman's had such better map control that it's going to be a really tough, tough ask. Look at the victory point control. Oh, <laughs> what a double salvo there. These double packs are really starting to make their presence felt now. There's no light vehicles remaining anymore. How close is Dutchman? He does have tier 3 built. And there's his Panzer IV now on its way. But against double packs, it's going to be well dealt with, to be fair, by the uh, the Swede. Bundle nade dodged there. Will we see a steel granata assault, perhaps? No, he's reversed his way. They've now hit the... Uh, Command points required for the Tiger, but of course, they're way off that. And I th the one thing that would stop us getting Tigers in this game seems to be Alpern's victory point count. He really needs to get a control of it. He is currently going south of the Pioneers, so he must have heard us. Don't forget, Alpern is 2 1 up in this series. So if he wins this, he will win the $50. Ah! Little uh, Panzer Battle Group comes out. Pack 40, hands a full combination. Incredible scenes, Jeff. Wonder whose S mines these are. Must be Dutchman's. Leaving us have a little bit exposed to a mega bundle nade, but <laughs> an Alpern wants it, but he's losing manpower trying to attain it. Panzer IV is now on the field, but he's having to spot for the packs before he can fully deploy him. Meanwhile, MG in the north forces away the uh, Panzer Grenadiers. MG is now Veteran C2 here. But yeah, the Grenadiers were trying to set up to plant the LAB. Doesn't matter about your veteran see when you've got off-map artillery raining on your parade. He's telemine in the centre, not a bad idea. A bit of friendly fire artillery, danger close as the Grenadier's cap. Angry Dutchman keeps the pressure on. By the way, if we get to a fifth game today, we are going to be seeing the only unused faction thus far. We've seen both Axis factions. It would be USF, I believe. And it would be, I'm going to say, Bryansk Forest as the fifth map. Panzer IV of um, Alpern's very own is on its way. In the south, we've got six man assault grenadiers now with that veteran squad leader helping out. He's uh, been cleared after his knee injury pl playing Bagmington. He can leave desk duty now and lead his uh, his soldat and into battle. Pack 40's lying ambush. That's what you want to be doing with your Pack 40's. Constantly setting up in anticipation of your opponent. Looks to me like the Pack Panzer Vors is. Uh, He's taking the bait. No Faust, though, from uh, Alpern. He won't be able to Faust him. Does he have the Panzer Grenadiers close by? No, he does have his own Panzer IV now on the field, however. Very juicy target. He will have heard the repositioning, but he won't be aware that all of Dutchman's forces are in the south. What a salvo from the Pack 40s. Can they follow up? No. Panzer IV's forced away, but there you go. There's that ambush. Bundle Nage not fully dodged. One guy exploded in a plume of blood. Basically became Duck Liver Pate. MG 42's uncovered there. The Blobberino from Dutchman. Just swinging around the south side. Meanwhile, in the north, Alpern now claims these territories under the mighty banner of Sweden. Pioneers die yet again. He's really got something against the Pioneer Corps, hasn't he? Genuinely has. We've got another pioneer building the fourth built this game. 
his own Panzer IV as now. Oh, what a li line up there as well by the packs. Perfectly planted and ready to take advantage, but they can't solidify and capitalize on the kill. Talomine detonated, Pax hit, but they need that follow up shot. Is he going to get greedy here? Is he going to push in perhaps? Sul Grandi is just scouting for him. Still there, should he want it? He's going to have to push through Hellfire and Brimstone and Shrex as well in order to get that kill. Easily. Easier said than done for the Dutchman. Shrex attack ground and hit nothing. Dutchman keeping his control of the victory points. Don't forget that Elp is now down to 141 and dropping. Let's journey north on this uh, very interesting map. Like a labyrinth as uh, Findeed mentions. Got to see all the units doing uh, doing what they do best. Smerdy is returning from capping in the north. Packs find the Panzer IV. Panzer IVs really aren't having uh, much opportunity at the moment. Looks like we've had a juicy Dutchman S minefield on the north the central victory point there. He's trampling over it though, and he pays the price there. Panzer IV finds the Panzer is on their own mine patch and makes them pay. Third LAB for Dutchman, constantly keeping Alpern on his toes. He pushes forward. He got a bundle nade threatening that could be juicy. Oh, what's Dutchman thinking? He's very exposed there. His own pack 40s find Elpern's Panzer IV, though. And make him pay. South side, we've got Assault Grenadiers and MG. Capping up, that's a very defensive telemine from Elpern, just expecting sector. Dutchman to be in the ascendancy. Another mechanised assault group, that's very late on, it's about the fifth one we've seen this game. And yeah, it's uh, pretty aggressive to say the least. I wonder if he's going to try and mop up the pack 40s in some almighty push, he must be quite frankly. Got to watch out for um, telemines though of course, and how he's going to be able to do that. Just checking for them now, a lot of S mines built. No Talamines from what I can see. Dutchman keeping up the VP pressure still though. 122 and dropping more S mines coming down from Dutchman. That's a, a three S mine patch. Patch there. I don't know how best to describe it. It's got three quarters full anyway. Here comes the push, got main gun destroyed on the 250, the Panzer Grenadiers disembark, they're looking for a bundle made, they get it off on Dutchman there, they're disemboweling the pack 40s from within, Panzer IV now needs its moment to strike, Panzer Grenadiers face off from one another, we've got, it's a Tiger tank for Dutchman, he went all the way and he got the 88mm Behemoth, 60 tons and there you go, what a shot from afar, annihilating the Panzer Grenadiers of Alpern. Grenadiers push on. Panzer Grenadiers take out the pack. 40. Panzer IV watches on in terror as the big cat. The Panzer Kampfwagen Sex rolls forward. We've got Pioneers now picking up a Panzer Shrek. Dutchman is looking to wreck Alpern's Panzers. Frontal armor penetrated. Panzer Grenadier is spotting for him. Tiger rolls on. His own Panzer IV pushes in. Possibly now looking. There's a telemine. An almighty telemine. From Dutchman. From Alpen strikes Dutchman's Tiger. However, his own Panzer IV pushes in. He tries to blitzkrieg out of there, does Alpen. Suffers a frontal armor penetration, but then so does Alpen. Last shot to penetrate wins. Main gun destroyed, critical. They can't be on tawny mode with this kind of shenanigans. Tiger goes forward, ambush Tiger, misses. 
Panzer IV goes in, misses itself. Has the Tiger reloaded? Yes, it has. Out of control, Panzer. Here comes the Blobberino from Alpern. What a shot from afar there. Must have been a Telemine. It simply must have been a Telemine on the uh, Panzer IV. A deep Telemine there. Takes him out at the last. There was no pack 40s in the vicinity, so it simply must have been. Panzer Grenadiers are now possibly going to strike. We do have an LAB from Dutchman at the heart of Alpern's blob. As this game overboils with craziness. Pioneers are going to take the pack 40, but no, they're down to three man. we got a four man squad remaining, doing a lot of mine sweeping. He now goes to take the MG out with a bundle nade. Can they somehow take this pack 40? There's one in the north as well. There's two in the north. He has options. Tiger hits from afar, but misses. He is stricken. Here we go. The Pioneers are now going to take the pack 40. We've got a Panzer Grenadier squad, though, that could help out. We're going to have to have Panzer Grenadiers take on one another. This could act as a shot blocker. I'm not quite sure. Trying to stay alive. Could take out the Tiger if he stays alive. There he goes. He's got a shot now. Rear armor penetrates. Here comes the blob of Dutchman, however. One more shot required. No, can't get it off. Is there anything else to back up Alpern's forces? No, he's all down to one. Two men remaining. The Tiger stays alive. What action that was. That was bloody insane. And Dutchman could be taking us to a fifth game of this ridiculous series. This deathmatch finally living up to its name series. This is what we came here for. Oh my. I think today was worth it for just that passage of play, wasn't it? I might just stick that on YouTube, to be honest. <laughs> that was when it got exciting. That's when they uh, let it all hang out. Stug is building for Alper, and he's got the most Imperial of Danes in his ear. Just built the stack for fuck's sake! And we've got it on its way. Panzer IV was the choice from the Dutchman. It's an S-mine in the north. It's a Dutchman S-mine as well, so that could come to hurt him. Could Elpern here. Here's that mighty Sturmgeschütz. Lone Predator. Let's just do a cinematic of the Stug. Let's do a, a film, a propaganda film for Goebbels' propaganda ministerium of Stugs in action. Sorry, we've got an LAB happening. That's a Dutchman one, and its target is over here. And it retreated. It was an MG. That was exciting. It shows its first shot there. Tiger's repairing very quickly with this these double pioneers. Pack lines up with Stug. They push forward. They're after the Panzer IV, but double pack. 40s for Dutchman will defend. Why won't these cowards give up? Because they're fellow Germans. Your racism will not work here. One will lay on the three forward crew members of the MG42 thanks to that profile change. Stug's in an odd spot. Tiger's fully repaired. I have to say it's looking really good for Dutchman in this game. Alpern only has 40 fuel. Oh, there you go. That's a nice shot. Pack 40s are also now springing into life. Another mechanized assault group for Alpern. Really wants to take out these packs. Stug somehow survives. Tiger rolls forward. LAB on the packs. Can they get out of there in time? Got to LMG versus. There's an excellent shot there. Taking out one of the pack 40s. Stug's in a real tricky situation. Here he comes the 250 to take out the MG. He's only got 29 victory points remaining. MG taken out there. Pack 40 destroyed. Tiger traverses its turret using those pneumatics. Alpern stays in the game thanks to the 250. 
No Panzer Shrek upgrade though, and the Panzer Four has got something to say about its presence. It doesn't like it. What a shot! Takes out one of the Panzer Grenadiers and nearly destroys the 250 in one go. Alpern taps out, taking us to a deciding ace game. That's right, we're heading to the forests of Bryansk and we're heading to a US mirror match for the fifth game of this historic best of five series.